right hand back. Um, play, really, you can play anywhere on the, on the diamond. He told me it was comfortable everywhere, but uh, primarily going to be second base, uh, corner outfield. Um, might get some reps at third base. Uh, he's played first base in the past. He's going to put the ball in play. Um, you know, he hits for average. And he's got some sneaky pop, and um, he's a really good guy. He's going to fit perfectly in our clubhouse. Does, does Merrifield make it easier for you to give guys days off, uh, maybe more often than you would before, just because he can maybe play five days a week to five different positions? Yeah, it does in that sense, but it's actually pulling guys out of the lineup. It's going to be, be trouble because these guys love to play, but, you know, um, but we're going to have to do it at times. That's all. Alex, on the left. Would you say that um, his time will be split pretty evenly between the infield and the outfield, or do you think one it's one area more than the other? Uh, it's hard to say. You know, we'll we'll see how our health is, because um, if you're always going to have injuries um, at some point, and um, that's the good thing about having him is he can just go out and fit right in. So um, initially, I'd say yeah, probably half and half, but that'll depend on the health of the other guys. He's a guy who's played a lot in his career. Uh, I think 145 games last season with the Blue Jays. Um, do you think that at, at age 35, playing less could be a benefit for him? Uh, we'll see. You know, he's had a couple of years where he's played 162 as well. So um, he's, he's pretty much used to playing almost every day. And uh, when I talked to him on the phone, you know, I was telling him about the situation. The answer that he gave me, which I really liked, was that he's going to work himself in the lineup. And I like that. Is that tricky in terms of getting playing time for him and that he is a veteran and maybe there have been no guarantees, but maybe a guy with no service time, you don't feel so urgent maybe or pressured to, to, to play? Um, yeah, but I think we'll get him playing time. You know, I think, and he knew the, he knew the situation going in and, and I think he, um, really wanted to come here uh, because I think he, he understands the clubhouse, he understands the, um, the city of Philadelphia and, and how passionate they are about this club and, and about the game of baseball. But um, you know, I, I think we'll work it out. He says he does not have a first baseman's mitt, but would you like him to get one? Well, we'll, we'll buy him one. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you see him actually getting any time there? Or is it more just of a break glass in case of emergency? Um, you never know, you know. Um, Harp needs a day off every once in a while and you could slide bone there and play Sosa or you could put wet at first base. So um, the only thing he told me was that if I know that it's coming, just to give him a couple of days to, you know, especially at third base or first base, just get some rollers there and, and get a feel for the, uh, the throwing across the diamond. So, uh, we'll do that for sure. Jason, you're on the left. What about where you're thinking about putting him in the lineup? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you've thought about your options. There's, there's many. Uh, put him at the top, bottom. I mean, have you haven't thought about where he might fall in. He could he could fit anywhere, really. You know, it just depends on who you're going to take out of the lineup on any given day. So he he's hitting the top of the lineup. He can hit at the bottom lineup. But I, I like to, if you know me, you know that I like to have sort of a consistent lineup. And he's a guy that if if you gave Schwarber a day off, he could lead off. If you gave Stott a day off, he just he could go right into Stott's line and everybody stays the same. So um, he's pretty flexible that way. 